go, boy. Hello, sir. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? You can rest now, boy. <laughs> There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This is the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for my I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city 
stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the barest woman. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know, you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, 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 so how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy, I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's OK. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. So let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here.
Hey there, boy. All right. Gotta keep looking. Sorry, uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. We should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. I think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side.
quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Hey, boy. Looks like we lost him for now. Come on. Let's just get there. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. But let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, did you see where we're at once we got Jack? Whoa! Come on, Arthur. Took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Me. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teached me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And... Pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, 
Well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. That's him! Come on in here! <laughs> He's back, all right! Alegrans, 